Hello, it's Jennifer from C11. I have been wanting to try out some new bookbinding thread, mainly for my exposed bookbinding projects. So I took to Amazon to check out their top rated bookbinding thread. I ended up ordering two different products and in this video I'm going to try them out on my bookbinding project, give you my thoughts, and maybe if you are looking for some bookbinding thread, maybe you're just starting out, or you just, you are curious about upgrading to a different thread, you might find this video helpful. Just so you know, all these products and more of my bookbinding suggestions are in a whole curated list on my Amazon shop. You can check it out in the link below and I also have other lists on that page of things that I like from Amazon. Also, I wanna note, just because I bought this stuff doesn't mean that that's the only thing you can bind with. Bookbinding is a lot of preference. Some people like to bind with ribbon or the basic uh, sewing thread that comes on a bobbin like this. I like to use this for case binding, but a lot of people will just use it for any type of binding, which is totally fine. So just putting it out there, my preference is just my preference and it's not the only way. For years, I've been using craft cotton thread, which is really easy to find for me. It's at a lot of craft stores and it's easy to find online. It's also a good price, it's affordable. It comes in a lot of colors and I keep them organized in my little bookbinding thread box here. Well, somewhat organized. They look tangled, but there's actually a system here. And I still like it, it works, but often I will double up the thread so that it's a little bit thicker and stronger for my hardcover books that I make. So when I did my search, I was looking for something maybe thicker, then the cotton craft thread that I was already using so I don't have to double it up anymore. Also, it would be nice if it was already waxed, so that's one less thing I have to do. Waxing it just really helps make it more manageable to bind with and it makes it stronger since it's on the outside of the book. It prevents fraying on the thread. And I do want to mention the kit that I unboxed, maybe it was a couple of years ago now. I'll link it right here. That kit did come with thick binding thread and it was already waxed, but I didn't get a chance to use it in that video. That was just an unboxing. So since then, I have tried it out and it seems to be kind of on the slippery side. It's waxed, but the coating of it is just a little bit different. I don't know how to explain it. So I don't really like to use this because of that, but a lot of the thread that I saw listed looked just like this. So I was a little bit hesitant, so I really had to rely on the reviews to see if it was a really waxed thread. Maybe the kit that I got just had like a bad batch of thread in it. I don't know if they all come from the same manufacturer of this kind of thread. I don't know. And the next thing I wanted was a lot of color options. A lot of bookbinding thread I've seen just comes in a lot of shades of brown. And I know there's a lot of binding thread that is also for leather working, so maybe that's why there's so many browns. But I like to use a lot of color in my book projects and I was preferably looking for color options. Based on that and reading a lot of reviews and comparing a lot of listings, here's what I ended up getting. Books by Hand is owned by Lineco, which is one of the biggest bookbinding companies, so automatically I kind of trust anything that Lineco makes because I know it's going to be genuine bookbinding material. This pack was their most colorful out of all their wax linen threads, coming in at around $12 for three 20 yard spools. Natural Linen 5 ply lightly waxed for easy use for bookbinding craft and art. It measured at about one millimeter thick. And right off the bat, you can definitely tell this is waxed and it feels more like a natural wax on it. This would take me a lot of passes of beeswax to get my thread this waxy, but I like waxed thick thread and it's definitely a natural feeling thread. The packaging says it's natural linen and it's a very fibrous linen. Like you can see little fibers come out, which is not necessarily a bad thing. The wax helps prevent that type of thread from fraying and it does feel like a good quality. My next purchase was a 36 pack of wax thread made by a company called Jupine. Not sure if I'm saying that right. 
At the time I bought it, the listing was available, but now it is no longer, and the link will direct to this other product of theirs that is not the same. But they do have a 46 pack of the same thread that I bought, but this one comes with a spool holder. So if you're curious about this at all, I will link both of them down below. Maybe eventually the other pack will be available. I don't know anything about this brand, but they do carry a lot of craft and leatherworking supplies. When it arrived, there wasn't really any branding on the packaging. It was just a big bag of colorful thread, which was exciting to get, but I do wish there was a little less plastic. This 36 pack was about $25 and each spool has 55 yards of wax thread, which I thought was a pretty good deal. It includes a lot of color options, which is what I was looking for, a lot of jewel tones, it has some cream, some pastels, and some neon colors as well. And one spool of multicolor thread, which looks fun to try out. I know I mentioned I was tired of seeing only brown thread options, but this pack does come with a nice range of brown tones. There was a review that I read complaining that there were white spots of wax on the dark threads, but I actually don't mind that. You can see it, it is visible, but that's just an indicator to me that it's actually waxed, and I often have that on a thread that I wax myself. That was also one reason I chose this listing versus a lot of the others that look exactly like this thread. I thought at least then I know it's wax and that's better than not having enough wax. It measures to one millimeter and this is more of a flat thread versus the other one was more round like a cord. I don't know what material this thread is made out of. Even the listing doesn't say, it just says it's made of premium quality materials. And for what it's worth, they do say that their craft supplies are perfectly safe on your hands. Maybe the seller doesn't even know what their thread is made out of, so I'm guessing it's a synthetic, man-made material, like a nylon or a polyester. It's also a braided construction versus the other one is twisted, and cotton craft thread is also twisted. From what I gather, leather thread is braided, so it has more strength. I'm really curious to see how this is different than the thread I got from that kit I mentioned earlier, since they look pretty much the same. And for your viewing pleasure, here are all the threads I mentioned to have a visual comparison. On the far left is unwaxed cotton craft thread, in the middle is synthetic wax thread, and the far right is natural linen wax thread. All of these are said to be one millimeter thick, but from my perspective, they look and feel slightly different. You can go back to my previous videos to see how the cotton craft thread performs, but now let's compare the two threads I just bought in a test binding. I did find the synthetic thread was easier to thread the needle with because of its flat shape. And I decided to try out a two needle Coptic stitch test book with each of these threads. So there are two columns, of the synthetic thread and two columns of the natural linen. I won't give you a whole tutorial on this binding method, but maybe I will make that in the future. Let me know if you want it in the comments below. So here you can see what binding with these threads looked like. I single threaded each of them and on the left is the jupine and on the right is the books by hand. Even though these are said to be the same thickness, as you can see, they give very different results. One thing they had in common was I felt like they were stronger to bind with, like there was a little less give than the craft thread I usually use. For the natural linen books by hand thread, it felt like there was more wax on it, so it almost felt bulkier, which is why I couldn't pull the loops as tight, but it also feels like it's more forgiving because you can kind of like mush the thread together to form a solid piece. I think this one might be better for larger bindings where the thread has to go further out so it's not so tightly packed because it is so thick. And for the Jupine synthetic thread, this one did feel different to bind with. Compared to the cotton craft thread that I'm used to using, it almost felt like it didn't tangle as much. 
I think because of its flat shape and its braided construction. And this one did feel a little bit more wax than the other thread that I got from that kit, that Jofami kit that I mentioned. And I'm starting to think that even though there are so many listings of these type of threads that look so similar, you don't really know where they're manufactured and they all might be slightly different. And if you do get some that isn't waxed enough, you can always run it through a piece of beeswax to make it the right waxy consistency you're looking for. Some final thoughts on this new thread adventure. I definitely don't feel like I have to double thread either of these. A single thread felt thick enough for my binding needs. The thickest award going to the books by hand thread. Like I said, I think this would be better suited for larger bindings. And I think this would accompany well on a book that has more natural materials on it. Both were of good quality, but I think you get more bang for your buck on the synthetic thread. There's more color options, you get more yards of thread, and I feel like it would be a good thread to practice bookbinding with. But definitely read the reviews before you decide to purchase any thread because they all might be slightly different and it helps to know other people's experience. I think I'll continue to use a mix of all of these threads throughout my projects. If you've tried any of these threads or have suggestions for other bookbinding threads, please share your experience in the comments below. A big thank you and shout out to my Book Lemon patrons and YouTube members. Thank you for helping me make more bookbinding related videos because they may not be the most popular things to watch on YouTube, but I like making them and you help me make more of them. So thank you. And if you're interested in supporting more of these type of videos, I'll put links down below. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell right next to it so you get notified every time I post a new video. And if you're looking for more book binding materials, supply type videos, I have a playlist. I'll put it right here. And you can find all of these links down below. I hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!